Time for the Moors Millions next, just a one leg this week. Uh, it's leg 10 already. Four mile grade three handicap. First coalition, Leon van Rensburg, National Prince and National King for Joshua Sutherland. Cap Memorial, Leon van Rensburg, Lottery, John Morgan. Dakla Wall, James Shea, Frozen Hope, Darren Thompson. Tints in Fire or Padre Gogan, El Centro, Wonderful, Vinnie Gerard, Law Society for Graham Clutterbuck, Uptown Lady, Jim Murray, Shona Fabiola, Anne Weldon, Jeannie, David Robertson, Shambri, Moulin, Alex Cherry, Dressed Grain, James Shea, Amanda, Matt Cooper, Ironical, Harold, Graham Clutterbuck, Emily No, Padre Gogan, Sue Hall, Thinking, Derek Hinton, France, Matt Cooper, Infatuation, Paul Parsons, and Golf.com for Alex Cherry. They're already racing and heading to the first massive field for this how many long distance races we've got this week they're all over the first safely as well good big field almost like a mini national there's probably more in this and we'll be in the welsh national tomorrow anyway it's lottery in the lead for john morgan and that one along with your golf travel com will ensure a good pace but your travel golf com won't because it's fallen so lottery then left in the lead with the joshua sutherland pair wide on the track national king and national prince We'll be hoping that they took in and don't race the entire four miles, ten horses wide on the track, which would be pretty dopey. The back marker is El Centro Wonderful. I'm sure this is an ideal track for a four mile chase, to be honest, but anyway, Lottery's the leader. We'll field this size anyway, it was all on the last race. And Uptown Lady in second, Law Society third. That's if we were at the same. No, we weren't at the same course last time were we? Oh I don't know, it all gets confusing to me. They get over the next hand, there's a faller there, Uptown Ladies gone into two more fallers as well, Dressed Grain and Emelino have gone as well, so three of them went at that one. They get to the fourth. Uh, Lottery is setting a stiff pace as these John Morgan horses do and the carnage being left behind is because of the pace I would suggest. National King has now moved to a more sensible part of the track in second. It's not a right into the inside. As they've gone over that one, then comes Tints in Fire for Battering Hogan in third. With Frozen Hope and Chambry Moulin. Towards the back, El Centro Wonderful is the back marker and still races four or five wide. And past the Big screen, that's the winning post, or oh, do a big screen this time, so we're definitely a different course to last time. As I was saying in the forums, if anybody noticed it, it would be nice if we had enough commentators so that we could have a different commentator each course, or at least when it goes from one course to the log, if I just did that last course, if somebody else did this one, and then I did the next one, it would just make it, I think, a bit more interesting if we've got a few changes of commentator rather than just me droning on all day. But anyway, it's Lottery in the lead. The National King second. And Frozen Hope is third. Chambry Moulin fourth. If they get to the seventh. And they're all over that one, okay. The ironical Harold has now dropped towards the back as well. It's still a big field despite the fact that we lost four of them. 18 of them left as they come into this next ditch. And they're all safely over that one with Lottery six lengths clear of National King in second. And National Prince is in third. Then comes Shabri Moulin down on this inside. Tints in Farrell is next. Frozen Hope on its outside. Then Infatuation is next with First Coalition, Suhar Thinking and Law Society after them. In France and Dakla Wall. With Amanda and Cat Memorial, then well done, Genie. And towards the back, Shona Fabiola. And finally, Ironical Harold. As El Centro Wonderful starts to move a bit closer around the outside. At fence number 11. And I'm going over that one. Okay. And Lottery's lead is down to just over three lengths now. Let me just give it a mid race breather. Frozen Hope has moved into second. Chambry Moulin into third. Then National Prince and National King. Tints in fire and infatuation. With Law Society next and then Weldon Genie. And the top mate first coalition is next. Why don't we track Duckley a wall? Ronical Howard is going to try and creep up the inside by the looks, I think. 
but they're reasonably well grouped as they get over the 12th. Just the leader who's going to lead them about two to three lengths. Oh, John Morgan, Lottery. Lottery also won the first Grand National. They get over the 13th. Frozen Hope second, and then National King third. Weldon Genius fourth, and National Prince is fifth. Law Society has moved forward a bit. Shona Fabiola has made some pretty good ground as well. I'll jump that on a little bit slowly though, and ironical Harold is just getting a little bit behind the rest of them. A couple of them that's drift of the pack. But I'll jump that one well, so it's now within a length again. So Lottery is going to come up past the stands. Continuing to lead. One more circuit of the track left. And Frozen Hope is in second. Then Law Society's moved through into third. Then National Prince is fourth. Infatuation is in five. And then comes World and Genie and National King. Then Shabri Mulan. Shona Fabiola on the inside. There's still some of them running very wide. El Centro Wonderful still six deep on the track. And making this almost a five miler for him rather than a four miler. Ironical Harold is still the back marker. But Lottery's lead is down to a length and a half. Frozen Hope is second. Then Law Society is third. Infatuation move around the outside of that one. Then comes Weldon Genie. Two Joshua Southern horses next just drop back a little bit. Oh, they've been given a little bit of a breather as well. With Cat Memorial getting closer for Leon in the dark blue. As they get over number 16, Lottery continuing to lead. And we lost up down lady at some point as well. I don't know, we just lost her at that last one. Whether she went a fence or so before. And they get over the next. And they're all over that one, okay. That was Sue Hall thinking, I think, was the one we just recently lost. But it's Lottery in the lead. As they get to the 18th. We're on Frozen Hope. National Princess jumped up on the outside. Still running quite wide, so they're looking for some better ground or something, I don't know. Infatuation and Law Society next as they get over the 19th. And Lottery still appears to be going well enough in the lead. Frozen Hope just been niggled along. Law Society going well in third. National Prince is in fourth. Then comes Shona Fabiola and Infatuation as they get over the next. And there's a couple of fallers at the back there on one first coalition. The top weight has gone at that one as Lottery kicks on for home and has now gone six clear. It's Lottery who's in the lead then with five furlongs still to go. And plenty of jumping still to do. The David Robertson pair in hot pursuit. Well done, Genie and Shona Fabiola. Amanda's come from the back into fourth. Then comes El Centro. Wonderful. And after that one, Law Society. Some of the top weights are starting to struggle now as they take this turn into the straight where they'll jump the final three. And it's Lottery who's in the lead from Well Done Genie in second. Shona Fabiola is back in third. Then comes Amanda and El Centro. Wonderful Law Society is next. Then Frozen Hope. This is the final ditch of the last four. They'll jump actually. And it's now Well Done Genie who's gone on. Well Done Genie from Shona Fabiola and Lottery. Then comes Amanda. El Centro. Wonderful. That's the third last. Amanda jumped it best of all. Has come through the chances of falling on the back. Dakla Wall's gone. But it's Well Done Genie who's in the lead. Well Done Genie from Amanda. And now Lottery's trying to fight back on the inside over the second last Amanda landed in the lead but Lottery coming back now with a second wind it's Amanda in front from Lottery this is the final fence Amanda lands in the lead Lottery's over it in second running on from the back is Law Society but it's now in the inside Lottery starting to get back up again as they hit the final furlong Lottery's regaining the lead Amanda's now looking tired in second running on from the back is National King but it's going to be Lottery who's going to take it not quite a pillar to post victory but near enough and Lottery is an impressive winner from Amanda who's just going to hang on to second from National King in third then Weldon Genie, Sharon Fabiola, Law Society and Frozen Hope and all the way back to our one called Harold who was somewhere drift off the rest of them so a lot of the action in that race took part what well, happened early on but Lottery given a nice little breather by the jockey comes back to take it after being headed so lottery the winner then for john morgan amanda a big run in second for matt cooper national king joshua sullivan was third well done genie was fourth for david robertson who also took fifth with shona fabiola